Good morning. I hope everybody's doing really well. I hope you had a good uh, chance of doing that last assignment on mixing together addition and subtraction. Today I want to share my uh, screen with you a little bit and look at the IXL website. So um, there's a few things that I want to go over and what I'd like you to work on for today, if you go to the uh, IXL website, so for April uh, 21st, 2020, this is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020, I'd like you to go to the uh, IXL website and take a look at the uh, integers section. You'll see that uh, several of you have already started. I'm happy that some of you are doing the work on there. You're doing a great job. Uh, I think you've done really well so far. You can spend most of your time in the operations with integers section for this week. And what I'd like you to do is to work on specifically uh, C3, C4, and C5. So C3, I'll give you a little dose of what that one is about. So it's very similar to what we've been working on here. Um, please don't use a calculator. Try to work these ones out on your own. Try to work them out with uh, maybe some scratch paper off to the side. Uh, again, I do want to make you aware that if you put in the wrong answer and you get that incorrect, it gives you an explanation here. And the explanations are going to be a lot more detailed than what I've been sharing in the video. It will be really good for you. We have positive one plus negative four. So this is what I mentioned on the last video. All the negatives here, we've got negative four, which is more than uh, our positives. So we know for sure right away that when we add them, remember this is only for adding, when we add them together, they're going to be more negative. So that one should be negative three. Submit that. Yay, we got it. Now here's an interesting one. Uh, it's just some, some little tips for you today. We start off with a negative three. That first integer, our negative three, it's really important to understand where our starting point is when we're adding and subtracting integers. If we're starting with negative three, I'm not sure if this one's gonna record, but hopefully you can see my page a little bit over there off to the other side. Maybe, maybe not, I don't really know, I've got, two cameras plus my screen going today. So uh, always think of two, three. your first integer is kind of your starting point. And if we had negative three, this is an interesting one, take away a negative, taking away negative or subtracting negative or removing negative. So, you know, I like to work with analogies and things that help you to remember how to work with fractions. And one of the things I like to talk about are the uh, sports teams. So when I coach a team, uh, I talk about attitude. And if I started off with three negative attitude players, okay, let's say there were three players on my team and they had a negative attitude for practice. And then I took away four more negatives. If I took away something negative, I'll take it away. So subtracting a negative value, that's like becoming more positive. Uh, that's like adding positives. If I take away some negative, it means I'm going to be moving in a positive direction. You take a look at how that works. Negative three is the starting point. And if I was taking away taking away negative four is really like addition. Addition, which is always movement to the right on a number line movement to the right. So uh, when you have these side-by-side -side negative signs, even if the brackets are there, what that does is it turns it into an addition state. Okay, so this one I'm pretty sure is positive one or just plus one. Great job. Okay, uh, we're going to go back to, uh, we're going to go back to the other tab. Whoops. Uh, check out the grade seven skills. When you get into the um, addition and subtraction sentences with integers and word problems, uh, probably the most important thing for you to do is to um, uh, figure out what your starting point is. So this one I really like, this type of a question, filling in um, the integer that you need to be able to get 
three, positive three, when you start with eight. So the only way that's gonna work is if you add on negative values. If you think about what the picture is, whoa. So here again, type the integer that makes the following subtraction sentence true. So if you think of fact families, this is kind of like, okay, what number would we have to start off with to get to positive six? What number would we have to start off with to get to positive six if we took away negative nine? And I think it would be negative three. I'm not 100% sure, but whoa, terrific. So you have to sort of think backwards for those ones. We haven't done a lot of those, so I wanted to make sure that you uh, had a little bit of an explanation. Think backwards. These ones will be a little bit easier for you because they're just like regular numbers. If you do miss the sign, remember, please go back and read the explanations. They're in a lot of detail and uh, you shouldn't have any problem uh, working on those. So again, for uh, today, your lesson is the grade seven tab. And we're working on C1, C2, and C3. Okay, that is an assignment for marks. So on Google Classroom, you're going to see that. And uh, today's lesson is practice. I want you to work on these ones, uh, work on the sentences, the word problems, just C1, C2, C3. And then when you Oops, I made a mistake on that. It's actually C3, C4, and C5, okay? My mistake. I read them from top to bottom. So C3, C4, and C5. There's your assignment for today. And this goes along with the Google Classroom assignment for April 21st, 2020. I'm going to be enjoying my coffee and marking all your work from yesterday. Today I have McDonald's coffee. Delicious. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Don't forget, email me if you have any problems or if you have questions.